and Elkin group try substituted lovers in embrace the envy of a carboxylic acid and its conjugate base. Their tempered passion permitted none to break their bond. Even H2 could find no motive to provoke a change of heart. Neither did gaze upon another. Their view was locked to some degree. Such love could never break asunder because it spanned from E or Z. Meanwhile, dimethyl sulfide was rejected yet again, its capacity for love negated by its smell. In a jealous fit, it planned a grim campaign and called forth ozone to quell the lover's spell. Ozone, at the time, had lost all hope. How had it wished to be a diatomic allotrope? It was an outcast, ridiculed and threatened by its kind. Low temperature and pressure kept it well confined. Despite its resonance, emotions freely flared. Ozone's reactivity left no one spared. Dimethyl sulfide, the accessory after the fact, goaded the ozone to begin the dreadful act. Reduced to tears by sulfide's thirst for blood, the ozone could do nothing but oblige. The executor lay waste to the alkene in stride. They once won, now two, a ketone and an aldehyde. Old bonds were broken, but new arrangements would reveal the alkene's everlasting unity. Each half still had a carbonyl. <laughs> I almost burst out like toys. Like burst out laughing. How had it wished to be a diatomic isotrope? Oh, allotrope. <laughs> Damn it, that was actually so good! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to do this whole thing, alright.